but something really symbolic happened at the weekend. And Jeremy Corbyn gave a speech in which he said that Philip Hammond had accused him of wanting to dismantle the economic system or something like that, completely change the economic system. And Jeremy Corbyn said, you're absolutely right, Philip, I do. And that is, for me, the fulcrum of British politics at this point in time. Philip Hammond thought he was doing damage to Jeremy Corbyn when he said that, and Jeremy Corbyn agreed with him. So disconnected are the two positions from each other. That one man, that they say exactly the same thing. One man thinks it's a vote winner for him. One man thinks it's a vote loser for him. It's fascinating that. And I think it speaks to this generational gap. So if you don't actually think that having capital is in your future, what, what's the point of anything in a capitalist society? And that is, it's not the reason why Philip Hammond is looking at the idea of what he will call intergenerational fairness. Um, it is, I mean, he's doing it, he's looking at intergenerational fairness because they could not believe the scale of the spanking that they took from younger voters in the last general election and that they're desperately trying to find ways to address it. Oddly, this, of course, could potentially alienate the people who do traditionally vote for the Conservatives, which is more likely to be the people who've got a bit of capital. But the suggestion is... Um, and whether or not you think this is a part of a battle to save his job is, is, is not really relevant today. But he's looking at ways to promote intergenerational fairness that would see workers in their 20s and 30s getting a tax break that would be paid for by cutting tax relief for older and wealthier workers, most obviously probably through pensions tax relief. So if you're earning a decent crust and you, you're over the hump of life, you're, in the, you're on the home straight and you're paying into your pension fund, the government, of course, match your payments. All the money that you pay into your pension fund isn't taxable in the same way that the money that you spend on, on sweets is. And I, I, I don't want to be apocalyptic. I do have an increasing sense. I know a lot of you do as well because you're kind enough to somehow thank me for, for keeping your feet on the ground. But I, I have a sense of rather epic shifts being underway at the moment, of tectonic plates, political tectonic plates shifting beneath our feet in, in ways that could be catastrophic. But the biggest, probably, is this intergenerational gap. And, and the media doesn't get it. The media doesn't get it because, well, they're all old. Everybody writing newspapers is old. If you manage to immerse yourself in news sources that are essentially online and manage to steer clear of the white supremacist, far-right, nutty, Russian, Kremlin-sponsored ones, you, you'll find a very different tone of reportage, as if the Corbyn position on the economy is almost a no-brainer. Well, yeah, of course he wants to change everything. Of course he wants to dismantle it. I live in a capitalist society with no prospect of ever accruing capital. 